hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's a go check stitches in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys how to make a scrunchy bag using velvet material if this sounds like something you are interested to know the steps i took in making the scrunchy bag without further ado let's get straight into the tutorial The material I'm working with is a velvet material. I folded the material once and the length after folding is 8 inches and the width is 18.5 inches. This will be serving as the length of the handle. The length after folding is 19 inches and the width is 3.5 inches. I'll fold it once again facing the back part of the material. I'll go right on my sewing machine and match on the side by half inches. The next step now is to fold where the elastic will pass through. For the folding, I'm going to come down from the beginning of the bag by 2 inches. When stitching it, I'm going to leave a small space, that is a gap, where the elastic will pass through. I'll start the stitching from this marked part and end the stitching in the other marked part. Once I was done with the stitching, this is how it looks like. I'll keep the body of the bag aside and work on the handle. I'll fold it once this way and go right on my sewing machine and stitch on it. Once I was done with the stitching, I'm going to use my passing pin to turn it to the front. I'll be passing through the elastic. I'm working with one inch elastic. For the length of the elastic I worked with, it depends on how you want to form the gather on the bag. Once you are satisfied on how the gathering looks on the bag, 
you can cut off the remaining elastic and stitch it. I will go right on my sewing machine and stitch the elastic, cut off the remaining excess, fold it inside this way and cover it with the material by stitching it. Once I was done covering the elastic, I'm going to turn the back to the front. I double stitched on one part of the handle. What? To form the scrunchy effect on the handle, I'm going to pass through my elastic. Once I'm done forming the scrunch on the handle, I'm going to check if I love how the length looks like before cutting out the elastic. I used my paint to hold the two edges for the elastic not to come out. Once I was done working on the handle, the actual length I came out with is 10 inches. I'll go right on my sewing machine and fold it this way. Then I got the bag and I'm going to find the side of it. I'm going to place the handle to it this way and go and stitch it. So guys, this is basically all on the steps I took in making this crunchy bag. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Drop your comments on the comment section below on what's next you would love to see me design. Subscribe to this channel for more beautiful videos like this. Turn on your notification bell to be the first to be notified when I upload new video every day. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next tutorial. Bye.